So today we're doing something really special and I've been waiting on these for a very, very long time. They are plate ribs and they're like these big dinosaur ribs that I have been dreaming about for weeks. And I mean weeks, this has taken maybe about seven weeks for the kind of get these arranged, get them cured and get them ready. So I'm traveling up to Fever and Steel right now to get these ribs. So excited, mouth actually salivating, thinking about it, but they're gonna cook for about five or six hours in the grill on the smoke and then uh, leaving the rest for an hour and then we'll be eating them sometime tonight. So, first, because I want to see these things. Right, so, right, so you can use this, this is the chuck, okay, yeah. the chuck on the bone, so that's your chuck in here. Okay, and then you've got your big rib bones there. So you can cook them up on the bar on, on, on the barbecue, lovely. Yeah. Or you can go with rib of beef, which is here. That's your ribeye in the centre, and then it goes into a rib steak here once the fat's in it. You've also got your ribs there. Along the rib as well. I, I prefer the long bone. So that's your, you know, that's your rib of beef there. It's been used for about Okay, thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Not a problem. The thing about um, smoking ribs is that it, it cracks Lindsay up because whenever I'm cooking, it's just like it's just totally hungry and she's waiting for it to eat. And it just it takes a long time and it takes as long as it takes. And if you're into grilling and into barbecuing, I think actually this is like a, a, a run theme and I've picked this up from just anybody who has maybe a wife or a partner is that they all get really angry <laughs> because ribs take so long. So these ribs are gonna take a bit of time. I've already prepped some food last night that I can feed everyone if they all crack up at me, but I'm really excited about eating these. So this is what we've ended up with. Look at the size of these things. Like that's, that's my hand and I have quite a large hand. <laughs> They're massive, they don't even fit on the, the block themselves, but pretty much what we're going to do is salt and pepper and keep it really simple and then smoke these on the, the grill for maybe about five or six hours, depending on how long it takes to cook these things, but look at that, it's absolutely crazy. Right, so we're going to keep this really simple, we're just going to go in with um, salt and some black pepper as well. Right, so black pepper, we're just going to go in with Quite a lot of it. Start now just with salt, and this can take like tons of salt because it's such a big piece of meat. So we're just going to hit it with plenty of salt on top. Hit all that in. Okay, and then the backs doesn't matter because nothing gets through that kind of membrane, but down in here then. Right, so I'm gonna give that a wee bit of time now just to get itself set up. Right, so. Basically just sticking all these round in a, in a snake shape. So kind of the only thing that really matters is just making sure that all these touch so that as everything kind of burns its way down, you know that it's able to, to pass the flame, transmit the, the love. So there we go, that's kind of enough for the, the burn for maybe about five hours, this, this kind of snake. Right, so the next thing we want to do then is get this lit. And we're going to just drop in a couple of coals in around it. So kind of interesting fact about um, these charcoals is that um, they're made just with starch and wood. So years ago, whenever you used to cook on a barbecue, people would say that you have to wait 30 minutes until your coals turn white, and then you could start cooking on them. And I only found this out from speaking with Jim. These actually, because they've only just got starch in them and they're just charcoal themselves, then you can actually just top these up as you go. And that's the difference between a good charcoal and the kind of ones that you're buying maybe in Tesco's and places like that, is that there's no chemicals added to them, so you can just top them up as you go. Fun fact. Okay, so the last wee bit of pepper then over the tops of these. Give these a bit of love. Look at that. Beautiful. So up 
in the corner. The grid back on. Right, so let's get these things on then. So we're gonna keep these away from the heat. Get them up into here. And then important is this meter probe. So the idea with this is that we're gonna just put this right down into the meat somewhere. So I'm gonna find somewhere that I can get it into. Okay, so you can see it there. That's the meter in. Get a bit of flavor on them. That's a handy wee thing with these grills is that you can open this side part up and just drop in your, your wood chunks. So. so I've had this cooking for about 50 minutes. In fact, I've had this cooking for 50 minutes and 44 seconds because I've got my meter, which is telling me this. We're trying to get to 52. So once this gets to 52, you're gonna take it off and wrap it loosely leave it to sit for a bit and then I'm gonna sear it on both sides to kind of have it perfectly done. So this is the plan and this is what's happening. So the smoke's still doing its thing and doing its smokiness. It's all going pretty well so far. You can actually see through the holes and see the meat. And it looks tasty. Right, so here's something a wee bit new which I've never actually even tried before with chimichurri and steak and it's like they go hand in hand. Okay, so that's our chilies. Um, I, I'm keeping the seeds in just because I like a bit of heat. So one full chilies in, and then we're gonna go in with some garlic as well. So garlic wise, we're gonna go with maybe three of these cloves, and then just roughly cut these as well. Because I'm pretty lazy, I'm gonna go with this little device here. It's an absolute time saver. I should just saw these up now. There are a row. Right, so the last wee part we want to do now is some salt and pepper, so a nice healthy amount of pepper. And the same for our salt as well, so about that much. Red wine vinegar. With olive oil as well, so just good quality olive oil. Okay, so we thermal can. Just test it out there. So soft. <laughs> Look at that. 